Radio. Hello everybody, it's me, Wow Much Justin, and I have a very uh, very interesting video here for you today. This video is going to be how to install Halo Combat Evolved and Custom Edition without actually owning the game. And the reason that this gets a special little intro like this is because I want to explain myself a little bit. This uh, program, ever since GameSpy shut down, the way of installing and enabling online in both of these games has been very different. Granted, the uh, screen recording software I'm using has a limit on how long I can record, so I kind of go through everything kind of fast. Feel free to pause, you know, back up. I'm going to be having my commentary, so it's not going to be like text on screen with a song like some are. But um, I hope it helps you guys out and you have any questions or anything, just look at the description. I'm going to have a list of all the links. Um, I'm going to have a list of known errors and how to fix them. Be because, I mean, I've never, I didn't even have any errors when I did it. It worked perfectly fine, but not everyone's system is the same. Anyways, uh, here's the video. Hope you guys like it. Alright, here we are, guys. Here's how to install Halo PC. Um, I'm not going to show you downloading all the files because you, you should already have them all downloaded. Um, I've moved them to specific folders. One marked Halo PC for all the Halo PC ones. And don't worry, the download links will be separated into each game, so you can just download them and put them in a folder. Um, you're going to want to extract this WinRAR, or if you got 7-zip, either one works. Um, I already extracted it, so that way it would take less time in the video. But initially, you're just going to want to run the setup here, like this. It's just setup, just like if you were installing it with a real uh, real game. And that black screen is just it giving me that art, you know, uh, ch system change in bullcrap that it does. So just install it. And uh, you can use the same product key that I used, or I'm going to post a link that has hundreds and hundreds of product keys that work and have been known to work. But I'm just typing it in right now. Um, I'm going kind of slow because I wrote it down on paper and I didn't write it down very neatly. But um, put in your product key, and a very important step is actually going to come up here in just a moment. And it's also important to note that... Uh, um, since GameSpy is shut down, you're going to see why. Now it's going to actually do the little setup here when you hit next. And uh, you want to uncheck install GameSpy Arcade. Because the, the little crack we used to enable multiplayer on the privately owned servers, um, it's going to act as GameSpy Arcade, and you don't need that. This is the first time this little message has ever popped up to me, but if it, you have Windows 10 and it does, it just hit run anyways. And it's going to install your Halo. And since my system is relatively beefy, it didn't take all that long. It may take shorter, it may take longer, but just be patient with it. Let it go through the install like so. And whenever it's done, it's going to ask you, do you want to play the game or anything like that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you should know not to start the game without any cracks. <laughs> Especially if you're downloading it like this. But I let it update your system settings here. It takes a, little, a couple of minutes sometimes. But whenever it's done... Go ahead and exit out there, just with the X on the top right. Yep, when that's X'd out, now we're going to get to the important part, and the most easy part. Yeah, I had to move that little thing. I don't like how the screen capture device had its little capture thing on screen, but you know, it's no big deal. Um, you're going to want to run the Halo patch first. That's the most important thing, because this is going to patch the game up to the most current set, uh, most current, you know, system version. So that shouldn't take but a couple of seconds, so literally it's really, really short. And then you're going to want to open the folder that's the Halo 1.10, uh, 1 the patch. And it's in the link, it's called fix.exe, that's what the link is going to be called. But uh, that's basically the fixed file. I had to move some stuff around, stuff around here. But uh, open your file location, because you're going to be dropping all these into your Halo Combat Evolved file location. So go ahead and open them up. They, if you have WinRAR, they'll automatically be in WinRAR files. But uh, just copy these right into the directory. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite them. Of course, overwrite them. So I'm just going to show you how it goes right here like this. Boom. Replace. And then another dialog box is going to pop up asking for, you know, make sure you want to do it. You know, access granted. Let it do that. And then you're going to want to do the release folder, which is the which is not optional. The release folder has to be done. The other one's optional, but it's recommended. All right, 
and drag your loader.dll into the controls folder. In Halo PC, it's going to be in all caps, and CE, it's going to be in lowercase, but it's going to be the controls folder either way. And once you've done that, you've successfully installed Halo PC. Go ahead and launch it up. Launch it through the desktop launcher that installed itself. It doesn't get a different launcher. But just go ahead and launch it, and uh, albeit the Halo CE version is almost the exact same. Alright, and here's going to be the Halo CE install. It's pretty much the exact same as the Halo PC install, so I'm not going to be describing my describing what I'm doing. Literally, you just extract your folders, you run your Halo, oh, there's nothing to extract this time, just run the Halo CE setup. The setup is going to be pretty much the exact same as Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, just another warning, don't forget to uncheck install GameSpy Arcade, because GameSpy is no longer existing. And uh, you can use the same product key you used for Halo PC, or you can use a different one. It doesn't matter either way. There's little to no security on Halo PC, which is why this method works. But I just typed in the product key, and I went through the install like usual. And uh, there's not really much changes. In the end, whenever it's done, you're still going to replace your controls folder in your Halo.exe uh, launcher in the file directory. Go ahead and replace those, and then you're going to do the uh, uh, the release folder you're gonna go ahead and replace the loader.dll which is an anti-cheat for the record uh, you're gonna replace that in the controls folder just like you did for Halo PC and that's how you set up both Halo Custom Edition and Halo Combat Evolved but uh, see I'm just going through it like I did normally at this point if you followed all the instructions for Halo PC and you know what you're doing you can go ahead and finish it up there's nothing no new information coming uh, you run your patch, you replace your files, and you're done. That's all it is. So uh, go ahead and enjoy the rest of this, or you know you don't have to watch the rest. It's just going to be, be me finishing the installation. Um, we're going to have some more content coming soon. We got Halo Combat Evolved, Skulls. We're going to have some terminals. Or we, we were thinking about putting in some rare replay videos, because I did pre-order it. Um, and that's just stuff that's going to be coming later on down the road. So be patient. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Enjoy the rest of this installation process. Later.